Hello, this is Steve, N4LQ, and we're looking at the inside of a ICOM IC7300. Uh, one of the things that people have been wanting uh, is a external uh, receive antenna jack. Well, NRAD has come out with that, and um, this is what you get when you order the uh, NRAD RX7300 it's called. So it's just a little gadget that has a uh, TMP type connector on it and a TMP type jack here and it comes with a, a pair of RCA jacks on the back side with a jumper that you can used to uh, bypass the uh, connector. This is the uh, card that came with it. We can get it into focus here. And it also comes with a, uh, a manual. It tells you how to connect it. So, Anyway, you take all the screws off the top and two on each side and take your lid off. And right here is where it's going to fit in place of the remote antenna jack. So this just lifts out. And um, what you can do is just pull it up and kind of stuff it over here somewhere. I think probably you might want to uh, to use a wire tie somehow to just tie it off but you can just lay it over there and then um, this connector right here is labeled uh, J1071 you pull this out and plug that into the uh, female jack here on your uh, NRAD adapter. So that goes in there like that. And then you plug the NRAD adapter plug into where that plug came out. These are a little tight, but uh, I think we can get it in there eventually. There we are. Once I got my eyes directly over the uh, the jack, I was able to line it up. It's actually labeled RX here, so it makes it really easy. And so you drop it in here, like so, into the slot. That's basically all there is to it. So, uh, the manual tells you to uh, to unplug the jumper cable on the back here and use the uh, right side RCA female connector for the antenna coaxial cable. Right side is viewed from the rear so that would be over here and um, that will give you your antenna connection so that's uh, that's actually this cable right here so to hook up a receive antenna you would get rid of this and hook it to right here according to the manual um, 
if you happen to get it in there backwards, of course, then you know, that's a different matter. You're going to have to use the opposite of what they're saying here. Um, and it's not real clear as to which way you're supposed to put it in there. The picture is not all that high quality. But anyway, it's, uh, it's no big deal if you get it backwards. You could actually just flip it over and uh, put it in the other way. Anyway, um, there's room in here. If you wanted to mount this thing permanently in here and retain your, uh, your uh, tuner jack, and uh, as you can see, there's, there's room down below here where you could actually drill a couple holes and put, put these jacks in. There's room here, uh, plenty of room to actually mount these things or even over here. So there's quite a few possibilities if you don't mind getting the drill out and drilling a couple holes. And uh, I see now that this this nut has already come come loose just from moving things around. So I will tighten those up. But um, well I've got a an MFJ uh, noise eliminator that I can plug here into this and give me my um, I can use my receive antenna as the noise pickup um, I've also got another antenna I can use just for a receive antenna so there's uh, there's quite a few possibilities uh, if you have trouble with local AM broadcast uh, interference you can buy a uh, an a, a BC type BCI filter and put it in the, plug it into here, in and out, leave it in line permanently like that. This will let you use the receive only type version so you don't have to worry about blowing it out. But uh, there you go. So it looks like what we want to do is uh, simply drop the lid back on. we go now let's see what it looks like here on the back there's your two jacks and uh, we'll just put the screws back in and give it a try all right let's talk about a few ways that we can use the um, RX 7300 NRAD adapter that we installed in our IC7300 first of all right here at the top on the left we have the the normal setup now this is your antenna uh, this is the relay antenna relay that is inside the IC7300 the relay is normally in the receive position to the right and when we key the rig or push the the microphone button it switches over to transmit and the signal from from the transmitter goes up to the antenna in the normal position, the signal from the antenna will come in through the relay. And then we have the RX7300. That's those two RCA jacks on the back. And we have a jumper going between those two normally. And in this setup here, the receiver and transmitter will operate as, as it would out of the box. No change everything is normal. Then if we go to the next one here, um, with this we can have an auxiliary receiver and here we take our jumper out, we run a cable from the uh, from the RCA jack and this would be, if you're looking at the back, this would be the one on the right uh, to an auxiliary receiver and that way when the antenna is in the normal position uh, and you're receiving the relay would pass the signal to the auxiliary receiver and the receiver in the 7300 would be uh, inactive there would be uh, no signal getting to it 
So that would be like if you wanted to use a separate receiver uh, standalone and then use your uh, transmitter in the 7300. Sort of like the old fashioned way of doing things. Then we have the uh, the dual receiver set up here where we need a Y connector or a T to go between these two. So that can be, that's something you can pick up at Radio Shack. It's just a, uh, a shielded cable with a couple of RCA plugs on it. It comes out to uh, one RCA jack. Then you'd run a cable over to your auxiliary receiver. This way, both receivers would be receiving signal at all times. So you're using one antenna uh, and two receivers. In this position, we are we are um, we are using a separate receive antenna, in in addition to the main antenna. So your main antenna could be something like your three element beam, and um, that would be used for transmitting only. And then your receive antenna could be uh, maybe a loop, or maybe your main antenna could be your uh, your 160 meter vertical, and this could be a beverage antenna or something like that just for receiving. So that way, uh, when you key the rig, your signal would go out, up to the relay, out the main antenna, and then when you're receiving, all your signal for the receiver would come from the auxiliary receive antenna. Then, up here, um, See if we can focus in on that a little better. <clears throat> Here we have a diversity system set up where we use two antennas, antenna one, the main antenna, and antenna two, and we remove the jumper again between the, our two RCA jacks on the back, and we hook our antenna two to this jack and that feeds directly into the IC7300's receiver. And then um, we have this one connected to the auxiliary receiver. So again, when we kick in transmit, this signal from the transmitter goes up to the main antenna and out. And in the receive, we're going to have this receiver right here, our auxiliary receiver, which could be anything we want doing receiving, and then our main receiver in the IC7300 could be connected to another antenna, the receive antenna. So we could have, for instance, this could be a horizontal antenna, this could be a vertical, and you would have nice uh, diversity reception that way. This little diagram shows a way of connecting various devices. Uh, we take the jumper out, we put our device in line with this with these two RCA jacks. That device could be something like a noise filter, it could be a band pass filters for different bands, it could be a BCI type filter if you're having trouble with uh, interference from broadcast stations, any number of things. Lastly, we have front end protection for the for the receiver and the uh, IC7300. The uh, the receiver does have internal protection. If I go to transmit mode, uh, the signal will of course radiate from the main antenna, and it's going to come into this other antenna here if we have one hooked up. And um, when we do key the rig. There is a, a shunt diode that's activated and most of the signal is going to be passed to ground to protect the receiver. That's always there. It's built in and um, uh, still, I'm not going to say that it could never happen, but uh, it's unlikely, but still it's a good idea to have some kind of front end protection and you can buy those from DX Engineering, the uh, receiver front end protectors and a few other companies sell those things. So anything that you have connected uh, in line with your 
receivers, like all these here, you could actually add that device in series with it just to give you some more protection. So there you go, more ways to use the, uh, the little adapter from NRAD, the RX7300. Thank you.